know the lighting's not the best right here, but I wanted to show you one more thing while we're down here. This is a condensate pump right here. And the way it works is a lot of furnaces are 90% are plus and they condensate because they have a secondary heat exchanger in them. So they have to have a place to drain. And a lot of old houses don't have drains on the floor, especially anything built before the uh, 65. It seems like they're, they lack in that drain. I don't think it was code back then. So what we have to do is then we have to, in this case, this is in a different situation, but normally this is mounted on the ground. And so the condensation goes into the pump, fills it up, and then we have it go somewhere else to a drain, connect it in anywhere into a drain. Uh, that's one way to handle it. So a lot of these are wired. This one has never been wired because this is in a huge warehouse. It's been wired so that if this drain fills up then and if it does not work it'll shut the furnace off so if you ever have that situation and you have a condensate drain and your furnace isn't working you may want to pull this top of this off and look into it there's usually two screws to remove on each side here and you can pull it out see if it's full and see if the float is working inside if it's not working that's probably why your furnace shut off so it's a little safety so you don't flood your house.